This question, a constant force of 40 Newton is applied uh, tangentially to the rim of a wheel, which is initially at rest as shown in the figure below. So uh, the figure is not, I'll just draw the figure over here. So this is the rim of the wheel, and this is how the 40 Newton is applied tangentially to it. Now the uh, wing has a the wheel has a moment of inertia of 30 kilogram meter square that is already given in the question and radius of the circle is al already given as 0 0.2 so this is 0 0.2 meters first part we have to find the angular acceleration pretty straightforward because torque is nothing but i alpha right and what is torque torque is r cross f r cross f is i alpha now, uh, since the force x tangentially, so uh, uh, with respect to its distance, because definitely it moves about an axis passing through its center. So its distance from the center uh, or from the point of the axis is nothing but the radius and the angle is 90 degree because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So uh, R cross F means it's R F sine of theta, which is equal to I alpha. And uh, let's substitute the values now. R is 0 0.2, force is 40, uh, theta is 90, I is the moment of inertia which is given as 30, and alpha is what we have to find. So we're on the left hand side, let me just uh, get my calculator. So it's 0.2 times 40, uh, times sine 90, sine 90 is 1, so 8 is equal to 30 alpha. And dividing both sides by 30, we have 8 over 30 as alpha. So if you flip the equation, the value of alpha is 8 over 30 and the value of 8 over 30, 8 over 30 comes out as 0 0.27 radian per second square. This is, this is the required value of alpha. All right, in part two, they're asking that, uh, what is the angular velocity after four seconds? So <clears throat> that's where the equation of kinematics comes in. I mean, <clears throat> equation of kinematics, which is applied for the, you know, the angular, the rotation part. So uh, I think we can use omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Omega naught is the initial velocity, initial angular velocity. And since it starts from rest, it's given over here. So that should, that will be zero. Alpha is the angular acceleration, which you just found as 0 0.27 from here and time is four seconds as given in the question so all we have to do is multiply our angular acceleration with four which will come out as 1.07 and the unit is radian per second all right let's move ahead with the next part so the number of revolution after four seconds so again uh, we can use the equation uh, uh equation of motions once again so but this time we got to use i think the second equation of motion that theta is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square initial uh, angular velocity is zero alpha is 0 0.27 and the time is four second so we have four square so this value comes out as <clears throat> a 0.27 times 16 over 2 which is coming as 2.16 but what is this 2.16? This 2.16 is in radians. But what do they need? They need the number of revolutions. So they're not a problem. We can convert the number of revolutions uh, uh, because we know the relationship between the radian and the revolution, right? We know that two pi radian, two pi radian basically means one complete circle that corresponds to one revolution. So 2.16 radian will correspond to 1 over 2 pi times 2.16 revolution. So I've just used a simple unitary method over here. And this value comes out as <clears throat> uh, 0 0.34, 0 0.34 revolutions, 0 0.34 revolutions. So this is the answer to part three. Uh, <clears throat> in part four, they are asking that show that the work on the wheel after four seconds is equal to the kinetic energy possessed by um, possessed by the wheel after four seconds. That's also not a problem. Let's find out first the what is the work done by the force. Uh, so for the work done by the force, uh, what do we have over here? Uh, the work done by the force uh, is going to be. I'm sorry. The work done by the torque 
the work done by the torque because here we need to prove that the work done by on the wheel so the torque is doing the work so that will be uh, t dot theta uh, right uh, and torque is nothing but i alpha so that's i alpha times theta uh, moment of inertia i think is already given in the question that was uh, 30 so we write 30 over here uh, alpha is 0 0.27 and theta uh, we found as 2.16 radian so this value comes out as 30 times 0.27 times 2.16 which is 17.496 uh, joules and what is the final rotational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy will be i omega square over 2 and what is i 30 omega is i think uh, we just found right omega final is 1.07 is 1.07 square over 2 so this value comes out as let me just find that out 1.07 square times 15 which is also 17 point because we are uh, approximating these numbers so that will uh, that will come out as uh, an approximate value but of course we can manipulate this and we can also get the uh, get the answer in terms of the above number so how can we do that <clears throat> we know that omega is nothing but uh, alpha t right because omega was nothing but omega naught plus alpha t over 2 whole square and uh, omega naught was 0 so th that was basically alpha square t square over 2 right alpha square t square over 2 now this can also be written as i alpha times alpha t square over 2 and what is alpha t square over 2 notice carefully let's come over here alpha t square over 2 omega naught was anyway 0 was nothing but theta right so i can just replace it by theta so this will come out as i alpha theta and don't you think that i alpha theta and i alpha theta both are same and hence uh, the answer for both is actually same which is around 17.49 or 17 uh, for 17.496 joules and it's proved thank you